Here we go. Sari Podcard. Brewing Entertainment Honey. Yes, sir. This is of course a very part card of my British Goods. My name, do subscribe, join the coolest gang, the coolest gang, 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 so we can brew this honey together and then hit notification so that you've not missed when we post the head. Now, Abare has copped herself a brand new piece, brand new piece. We'll have to see it. <laughs> Let me tell you, you know that thing where they say, Oga, Araka, Araka, Soko. This is it. This is it. We spotted. Ambare, I think a couple of weeks back, literally like I think two weeks back, when she was shedding off Jamal Rosafi's the two. You know, this one here. I don't know if you guys remember this. If you were to meet with Ambare today, what would you advise her about her dating life and the dating scenario that she is in? Because as far as I am concerned, I get the feeling that Ambare is someone who loves love. She loves love. She wants to be loved. She wants to love someone's son back. But all the men she keeps meeting are nothing but sons of Pharaoh. Yes. Sons of Pharaoh. Men who, are, you know, like they, they come dressed like sheep. But yet they are wolves in sheep clothing. Like when they get what they are looking for. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like they come in at first and we are thinking, oh, Amare has finally found love. Like she looks happy. A baby is glowing. A baby is growing. A baby smiling. You know? And then, who may these men just have their own agendas with this baby? And they're like, we know if we are to come correct and just tell it to you as it is that, hey, by the way, me, I just want clout or I want people to talk about me or I want to be relevant. Then probably she will not give in. So now she has introduced us to her new piece, all the way from Sierra Leone. And I'm like, what in the actual is happening here? The man is fine. He is fine. Like, mm, he's tall, chocolate, all the right combination, tall, chocolate, right combination package. And I was just like, where exactly? I've never even seen anyone from Sierra Leone. Like, pardon my ignorance. But. I'm just like so weird this to meet. Like they had 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 this Sierra Leone guy come to Kenya and then they met or did this guy DM her? Why had you know why had they been talking for a hot minute? And then the guy said, you know, I'm coming to Kenya and I want to see you when I'm there. You know, I'm coming to Kenya for business. Because that's usually what all those guys from West usually they're usually coming here for some type of business. And then the guy from was like, you know what, baby, from your, I mean, your city, wanna link? And then they linked and they took the photo. And then, I don't know, where do you think these guys met? Because my, my, I have to, I have two theories. It's probably the guy DM and Barrea decided chatting, or they met in one of these social spots. And the guy saw Barrea and was like, hey, baby, you're beautiful, you're fire, can you maybe talk? Can we exchange contacts? Can we do this thing for real, for real, for real, for sure, for sure. He's like, and probably Ambaray was like, yeah, why not? I mean, duh, like, give it to me, you know? <sighs> okay, so anyway, they put up this picture of them enjoying their little dinner. And then Ambaray puts a caption on there and the man notices it and he's like, this deserves a repost. Now, then again, we don't know if the man reposted it because he wanted to attract people to his page or because it was genuine that he had enjoyed the date. That's why I'm just saying that we cannot trust anyone who is trying to date Abare at this point. It's not even Abare with the problem. We forgive her for all the things she did. But what I am simply saying is Abare ametumika siku nyingi kama basi ama kama chombo chakuregesha watu nyingi. She has been that mode of transportation where you notice that, you know what, my talk points or I want to be relevant or I want to get clout or I want to chase clout and who better to do that with if not Amber? She has a following. The babe is known. She is popping. She is beautiful. And Amber Ray, on the other hand, is desperately seeking for love and approval from this man. So she's coming from a genuine point and the men are coming from a scumbaggy point. So that's what I'm saying. We're not sure if the repost from Mr. Sarah Huyon was on a genuine note or it was him saying, I would not mind to get a couple of your followers 
or I would not mind people knowing that it is me you are talking about. And at this point, me, I just sort of feel sorry for Ambari, honestly, because the babe is spreading herself thin. You know, like thin. Like when someone says thin, that is it. She has gone to the lens of saying, I just want to make these things work. I can't remember when I'm going and let me tell you this. Let me let me let me let me just you on something. You remember when Amare, like we when Amare was married to Jimal Rosa, someone pitched her and was like, you know what, can we can we do an interview? Like we want to, to, to hear from you about this whole hasala between yourself and Amira and what and Amare said, For me, I cannot talk about these things because right now I am someone's wife. And I am trying to live like someone's wife, so I do not want controversy. I do not want this little little buzz that is out there for nothing. I just want to settle down and just live my life like a noble person. So if this is someone who was not invested and was not in love from the word go, do you think she would have said that? She was so in love with Jamal Rosafi from the word go, and she thought Jamal Rosafi was actually in that relationship for the right reason. Only for Jamal to actually gain mileage, to have clout, to be known, to be seen. And then he went ahead and did her dirty. And if for anything, I swear, I think Amira needs to cut Amaria check. Guys, I'm telling you the truth. Because we wouldn't have known about Amira were it not for Amare coming in between and doing that Moses stunt like pat the Red Sea. Why it's not for her, but they would not have quite put our finger on it to comprehend that this guy is, you know, who is this? This is someone's wife. Okay, and then who is this? This is the guy. Akawapatia wanted a lot of clout, a lot of talk points, and she made people who were seemingly irrelevant in our eyes to become relevant and talk points. So now, Mr. Sierra Leone, we don't know if you're in this for the right reasons. Do you guys think Mr. Sierra Leone is actually going to be invested in this? Do y'all think this, like they linked up for the right reasons or it's for clout? But for one thing I know for sure is that regardless of how someone acts online, you know, the Talibanism, that thing of saying for me, you know, you know, you don't really care as much. You don't give audience to things that are slightly irrelevant. You move. We move. Life is for the living. We move. That kind of thing. Usually behind closed doors, people are usually crying because you're like, I just want a man to love me. I want someone to accept me. But when you come to social media, you still want to play the role of a Taliban. But in actual sense, every damn human being deserves and craves love. So you tell me, do you think Mr. Sierra Leone and Amber Ray are in this for all the right reasons? Do you think this thing is going to work? Or five seconds later, we are again going to see her getting the tattoo removed the way, same way with her and Jamal, you know? And someone would not have been this head over heels in love with someone if they didn't even go ahead and put an actual tattoo of this person on their body. Amber, we wish you all the best with your new piece. We don't know if Mr. Sierra Leone is in this for the right reasons, but you let me know in the comment section down below. Do we trust Mr. Sierra Leone? Do we trust Amber Ray? Do we wish her well? Of course we do. But then do we think that this thing is going to end the way all those others have ended? Probably. Yes. Or probably not. We don't know. But all I'm saying is Amber Ray just needs to attract her person. That person who is also half as invested in loving the same way I'm by way this. So do subscribe and forget notification so that you do not miss when we post and upload and I will definitely see you again in the next book. Thanks so so much for watching. Adios. <laughs>